igneous, metamorphic, sedimentary. What do these three have in common? Yes, they're rocks. And rocks are a lot of the rocks in the world. But how have these rocks gotten here? We know how humans have. Through many years of evolution and struggling to achieve homeostasis, and we're still working towards it. Meanwhile, rocks achieved perfection nearly instantly. No evolution necessary. Sorry, Darwin. But how are there so many? There are big rocks, small rocks, medium rocks, tall rocks. I could go on. Most of the scientific community has agreed that rocks formed through lava hardening, or rocks eroding, or sediment coming together to make a bigger sediment, or whatever the fuck metamorphic rocks do. But I, and a smaller collection of the scientific community, believe that the answer lies in a much more naturalistic solution. That rocks, like humans, breed. Now what does this mean? Well, when two rocks love each other very much, they can mate, and a pebble will form. From there, the pebble can go on many wild and wacky adventures in its pebble life, and eventually even find its rock love, and the cycle continues anew. Now, this leads to the most puzzling and most asked question in the geology world. How do rocks kiss? Now, we of course know how humans kiss. They sort of mash their faces together for a while, exchanging saliva and love juices, until eventually they make a baby, or cold sores, one or the other. So if we go by that, I would hypothesize that rocks kissing would look something like this. Mwah, 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 what, what, oh my fucking god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yes, 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 I was right, I was right. Fuck you, Dr. Erlenmeyer. You said it never amounts to anything. I just made two rocks have sex. Yes! 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 This production was brought to you by the Boulder Geology Association. Yes, we know the name is funny. Stop pointing it out when you visit.